so the debt ceiling drama, just another reminder that the crypto economy has strong links to the TradFi system. Bloomberg Chanelli Bassick joins us now for a closer look. Chanelli? Thank you, Matt. In the run-up to the U.S. debt ceiling's X day, just like many other types of financial firms, stablecoin issuer Circle moved to reduce its risk tied to government bonds. The firm rid itself of U.S. Treasuries maturing after early June just in case the country reached the brink and couldn't repay its debts. U.S.-based Circle, the second largest stablecoin issuer, has has almost 30 billion of its USD coin in circulation, with the majority of that money backing those coins in the Circle Reserve Fund. As of May 26, its holdings for the Circle Reserve Fund largely matured through May 30th, and more than 80% were tied to Treasury repurchase agreements. And that's another market that, in theory, could be heavily impacted if the U.S. were brought to the brink. It's not just stable coins to think about, it's Bitcoin, too. There's a sense that a clearing of uncertainty around the U.S. debt limit could clear way for risk assets to succeed, and so Bitcoin has been inching higher. But that's not to say there aren't still roadblocks for risk-taking, with rates remaining high on the front end of the curve. John Toro, who leads trading at Digital Asset Exchange Independent Reserve, told Bloomberg that negative carry for long holders of crypto assets could face headwinds. What's more, though, is that even a debt ceiling resolution doesn't mean calm and steady markets are given. The Treasury, in order to rebuild its coffers after running at its driest level since 2017, is set to issue a trillion dollars worth of T-bills through the end of the third quarter. And there's a concern that this could tighten markets further until the deluge of issuance steadies. So it could be too soon to tell whether crypto is all clear of the risks tied to U.S. government debts.